Hi, everybody. My name is Joe K. It's just another day in the underground. And today I have been blessed by the underground hip hop gods. And I have been given the brand new unreleased Stevie Stone album, Raising the Bar. For those of you that don't know, let me get you caught up real quick. Last year, Stevie Stone left Strange Music. He started his brand new label, Odyssey Records. This is his very first album since leaving Strange Music and since having and creating his brand new record label. We've been waiting for what feels like a freaking eternity, okay? This man's been out here for a year, running around, doing shows and crap, giving us, you know, maybe a song here or there at the early stages, but not really consistently giving us some music. So I'm going to be honest, I knew that this thing needed to deliver. When you put this thing on for the first time, you're going to get hit with these beats that are just freaking bonkers, dude. Like these, these beats, when I first listened to the first song, it's called Hostile Stone. The beat is by Hostile Beats, little, little play on the name there for sure. And it reminds me so much of a Pop Smoke song, like absolutely freaking bonkers. It sets the tone for the entire project, right? We go from that to Raising the Bar, which if you've seen my other vlog, you'll know that Raising the Bar is one of those songs that's filled with talented MCs, rappers, rappers, you know what I mean? That song in and of itself, if I just took that one song out of here, I, I gotta say that's probably going to be one of the biggest songs in the underground this year. If there are reactors out there, you better be freaking reacting to that song because that that is the one song on this entire project that deserves a reaction from freaking everybody. Everybody tore it to shreds. Static G, I'm going to be honest, not a big Static G fan, haven't really dove into his catalog, but that man set the tone for the entire song. Stevie Stone comes in, kills it. You got his friends on here too. You got Spade Ripper who comes in. JLB Hood, Locksmith, Flawless Real Talk. They're all going like eight bars at a time. They get to the end and Flawless caps it off at a 16. The, the track's crazy. Now, if, if I could pick like three songs off this album and listen to them on repeat, it would be Hostile Stone, which is the first song on the album. Raise the Bar, which is a collective of rappers that I haven't seen a collab like this in a really long time. And I'm not just trying to blow smoke up your butts. This thing is absolutely crazy. Like this, this song in and of itself is, it's, 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 it's nuts. It's nuts. And then if you take that and then you go and you listen to minding my business. Oh my God. It's a rap. I don't need to, I honestly, I don't need to even hear the rest of the album. Those three songs in and of themselves for me personally, it is enough. I, the replay value on all three of those is crazy. You throw in a song like East Eye 70, which is more of like a personal song about uh, some experience he had, you know, right after he had left Strange Music. Listen to the song. You'll find out more. I want to give all, all the details here. But that type of song, it has its place. And I think some people who really like the storytelling and things like that, it's going to be a song that that hits you a little bit different than the other three that I was mentioning. And honestly, there's stuff for other people too. We have the, you know, the quintessential smoking song. Uh, we have the song for the ladies. That for me, I, I honestly, like, I don't really care about. I'm, I'm going to keep it a billion. I don't care. I don't care about those kind of songs. I don't really gravitate towards that type of uh, sound. And I feel like personally, my favorite version of Stevie Stone is the one where he's just going in with that gritty raw underground vibe and those other three songs that i was mentioning are really the ones that that set that mood for me now he is however broadening his potential um target market with some of these other songs he has a huge song on here that i i think has potential maybe it's Maybe it's a little too late for it. I, I don't know. I don't know if these kind of songs are still popping or not. But he has a song with Chris Calico and someone else who's going to remain unnamed because I want it to be a surprise. But he has this song out there. And it is like, it It just, it brings me back to like early 2000s. That's like, you know, in the club music. 
You freaking roll up in a Lambo. You pull into the club. Like, it's just one of those type of songs. So there's a little bit of everything for people on here. I am very curious how social media is going to respond because this type of a project in this day and age, I feel could go in so many different directions. And if I had one gripe about it, it was as an underground hip hop fan, I like a project that's very cohesive. I like a project that has a cohesive sound. And it's not that the sounds are all over the place. Like it's really high quality stuff. But I personally could have done better with more songs that were just him barring out. Him just going crazy like like some of those other ones I was mentioning. Hostile Stone, Raise the Bar, Minding My Business. I want I want a whole project full of that. Give me that, please. You know, but but I see what he's doing. This is his first project since he's been on his own label and off of Strange. So I totally understand where he's coming from with it. And I think it is going to have a lot more broad appeal to it uh, than just your typical underground hip hop fan, which is what I think he's going for. So look, for me, I've said this before. And I and actually, I, when I was talking about the Tech 9 album, when he was dropping his last album, I said, if I can find a project where there's at least like three to four really good songs on here i call that a successful project because i don't expect to walk in and listen to an album and like every single song in the project i will say this is one of the better underground hip-hop albums that i've heard in a long time and a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's been it's it's getting carried by these songs that for me just are are crazy like they're so good. They're so good. The The delivery of them, the tone of them, I think that's what Stevie Stone does really well. I, I wasn't going into this project listening for what I ended up getting. When I think of Stevie Stone, I don't, I'm not thinking of someone who's going to get on a track with a bunch of people chopping and do something like that. I, I just don't, I don't expect that. And that's honestly not what I was there for. Like, I was there for more of the mood and the tone and that grittiness and not so much like the bars like i wasn't expecting the bars to come like they did in the delivery that he gave them i think it's showing diversity i think it's showing what he can do and he's on a track with a bunch of monsters so you know an another person who who actually did his thing on here uh lyrical tmg that that dude like he he put in some work into this project. I think he's on a couple songs. I saw some also some songs from uh or some songs that were produced by uh DJ Payne One, uh which that was that was cool to see. But the production overall on this, uh, the engineering on this project was good. The quality overall was high quality. I'm waiting on these videos. I am waiting on these videos. I hope we get a bunch of videos for the songs that I like the most because those are the ones I feel like are, are really going to make an impact uh, for, for, for rap and hip hop. So we'll see where it goes. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling maybe some of these other songs that I didn't like, like some of these like more club songs um, that, you know, when I say I don't like me personally, I didn't really gravitate towards it. I'm wondering if those are going to be stuff that like pops off uh, and more of a mainstream level, if anything. And I'm curious to see what they do with that. And, you know, maybe any kind of like campaign for like TikTok or something like that. Like I could just, some of these songs, I just see, you know, the traditional TikTok video of uh, people dancing to it and stuff like that. Like I, I could, I could see that. Um, we'll see what happens though. But guys, I, I'm going to recommend you get this album. I think this is a good, solid project. I was not expecting this. I'm going I'm to I'm be honest. I was not expecting this. But you need to check it out for yourselves. It's dropping on, I believe, April 1st, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure you go get that. Support the artist. Again, I can't express this enough. If you're a fan of underground hip-hop and you're a fan of these artists, now is the time to financially support them with your freaking money. Okay? Do it with your dollars. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Joe K. It's just another day in the underground.